Wala pa yung mga classmate. Uh, Mag-start na ta. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, so we'll start our uh, discussion for today. And this is somehow a, a review for computer interfacing so that we can proceed with our IoT. Okay, so this is just part of the course um, outline that we have. And um, just a consideration for you who are not really familiar with what is computer interfacing and all those things. But as what you have performed last uh, meeting and what as I have observed, um, I can see that you are all very interested and are all very cooperative with doing the activities. So that's why I'm going to dig deeper through con computer interfacing and so you can have a much more or broader idea of what is really you are doing in the laboratory. So do you agree or do you like to, to learn more about those things that you have um, learned um, during when you perform the activities? Um, the good thing about the activities that I have provided is that they are they are included with materials. Uh, I mean, they are included with instructional materials wherein you, you just have to, you know, um, um, sort of follow the steps um, in the manual, right? But um, you also need to really know what are the significant of those materials, equipments that you have or the sensors that you have actually used in the activities? So that's why um, I'm going to have a discussion, hopefully, makaya in two hours, everything about those activities or, or everything about those materials and equipments that you have learned through your laboratory. And um, please expect um, a exam or a quiz next meeting after this. Okay. So any more question before we proceed? And can I get a screenshot first before we proceed with our class? Yes, ma'am. Uh, lang ko nga to open your cameras. Okay, before we start our class, so I can take up screenshot. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay, next page. So, ang, ang ubano, wala gya po nag-open sa camera. Okay. So, thank you. Screenshot na na ako. No? Ako sang i-check sa akong kung ko na-save batanan. Okay na. So, we'll proceed with our discussion. Okay, so, I, I used this material during my um, presentation for Kugo National High School. Um, but I'm going to utilize this one so that you can have a um, more broad, broader idea on how 
computer interfacing work so that when we proceed to creating a, an activity for Internet of Things, you will have at least somehow an expertise with the materials, the sensors, and other peripherals that you are going to use next time. Okay. So what is an Arduino? So an Arduino is a very uh, popular and easy to use programmable microcontroller board. So I think you're already familiar with what is Arduino and you have already somehow experienced you no, know, on how to really program using this microcontroller board. So this one is consists of a simple hardware platform and a free source code editor. So what do we mean by free source? Everyone. What do you mean by free source? Open source, free source. So that's what you call it because it's free and everyone can just download it anywhere, right? With an easy one-click compile upload. So when you click the compile and upload, it can easily upload the program from your computer to your Arduino, right? And it is designed to be really easy to use without being an expert programmer. So like what you've done, even if it was just your first time working with Arduino, then you really don't need to be an expert programmer to be able to really work on even a simple activity, right? Or even some major advanced activity. It's not really difficult for you since um, it, it is really an easy to use one-click compile feature upload feature niya no so when i just teach you how to compile upload check on the tools the difficult part will be just the troubleshooting right ang uban gani they mentioned to me nga ma'am nganong pag ikaw lagi ang mo duol ma'am kay or mo mo troubleshoot kay mo mo under lagi siya ma'am no so pa antiguhay gihapon na siya it's, it's an easy to use but somehow if you're not really used or kung wala ka na ana dog sige practice ana niya it will um, you will really have a difficulty in troubleshooting, no? So, but don't be fooled by its simplicity. Arduinos are very versatile. Anything from robots, home automation, networking, you name it, it can be made using an Arduino. And all you need right now is some knowledge and some inspiration. So, when I was teaching sa una, I la even last year, I really, I really don't like the 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 attitudes of my student last year because they seem to not interest they seem to to not uh, show some interest with the subject and even with uh, these activities somehow they feel like they probably think that they don't need these things but actually in reality in when you when you graduate and when you or even in your thesis this kind of um skills are really necessary for you okay so it's starting from home automation to robotics to to networking name everything it, the arduino is really the basic thing that you need to learn so for us um engineering technology students we really have to be able to to at least master um this kind of skill okay so that's why i was very disappointed with my students last year because they don't feel they don't show any interest just like unlike you guys you were really able to to really bring the materials in just a week notice so that's what i've i've seen no i i i feel that you really have the interest in this subject likewise i will show i will show to you everything that i've i will learn and i know about this um discussion as as somehow an equivalent to 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 the to the same interest that you have shown me okay so i will be providing you all of the of the materials that i know i know instruction materials and and even books so that you can really have a more knowledge and uh in this um in this topic okay so why are we know Okay. So these days, whenever somebody speaks about electronics, the word Arduino often pops up. That's right. Um, even our business, uh, even businessmen, business people, when they talk about robotics, and you mentioned about Arduino, it's it's um, it's um, it's like an edge or it's a plus for you, <laughs> and you can even include that to somehow 
um, to your projects and uh, uh, researches. When you mention about Arduino, it's it's really like an edge or a plus for you because it it only means one thing. You know programming, you know electronics, and you you even know how to how mechanical things work. So that's that's how powerful this is that term even it's not like there aren't any other development boards no there are a lot of boards and um but why is it so popular why arduino is so popular no arduino is easy to use no that's one and it's easy to connect to computer even elementary students can work on arduino i have students um who wants to learn arduino and who wants to learn robotics and we're just going to use Arduino. They are just ranging from nine years old to, to grade school students. It that 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 easy that even elementary students can work on it. And um it can be in standalone mode, right? I, I know you're already familiar with how it works. Number two, it's an open source project, software, hardware, and extremely accessible and very flexible and um easy. To customize okay number three it's flexible and offers a variety of digital and in analog inputs that's a lot of pins right so how many pins for the digital 13 right and for analog at least six or five and it has spi and serial interface and digital and pwm output before it's inexpensive it's very cheap and not even cost around 25 dollars that's 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 a long time ago rate for now, it's like 250, 200 pesos, diba? 3, I can't remember, 680, I don't know. 680? Mahal lagi. Maybe the, the ones I know are... Nag-one sila sa COVID, ma'am. Nag-increase po sila? Mahal na day, no? So Arduino is backed up by a growing online community. And that's, that's the one, the beauty of it. Because it's open source and it's uh, free source. Um, a lot are using it and a lot are actually uploading. So one of the things that I have actually mentioned to my students last year is they create like a video. I asked them to create videos and I uploaded it to my to USTP Robotics channel. But I, I felt that they are really not into doing those kind of things because they just copy the work from their classmates. <laughs> and it, it's, it's, it's not really not, it's really not, um, they provided me somehow a not so good outputs because <laughs> I just asked them to to assemble a robot and have it uh, create a video like a step by step tutorial. But somehow I they were not at par with what I'm really expecting from them. <laughs> Okay. Some of them, some of them are really good doing, but it's only like one or two people only. Okay, so uh types of Arduino. So uh I think um only a few have, have used other one. I think all, all of you used Arduino Uno, right? No, so there are a lot of other Arduino types like Arduino Arduino Mega 2560. Um it's it has more pins compared to Arduino Uno. So let's count how many pins the Arduino Mega has. So 0 to 13 until 0 uh, until 14 to 53. So it has 53 digital pins and at least 16 analog inputs. Analog input pins. Okay, so that's Ardu Arduino Mega 2560. A lily pad, Arduino lily pad. It has a uh, fewer uh, pins, but uh, what is the purpose of an Arduino lily pad? It's designed for a wearable and textile. I, I actually have a lily pad, but um, really it's it's only for a wearable um wearable equipments. So what are examples of wearable equipments that maybe we can use, uh, we can program anyone who has an idea? Microphone, ma'am? No. Wearable. Ah, 
Ah, Air phones. No. Ako na lang. Uh, example is in a fashion show. And um, this is already ongoing. Okay? So some of the designers are already accepting or doing this kind of things. Like a lily pad is a very small microcontroller and it has a few pins. But if, if in a fashion show, they would like to have like lights, no? Um those sort of things like they want to to program what is inside the clothes and etc so they they want to use um and much higher capacity of light then somehow some of them actually use lily pad arduino okay and other type of um wearable microcontrollers so I don't have a video for that one, but uh, I I have already seen one. No, they use a lily pad Arduino to 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 use for a different kind of sensors that they connect, or even just LEDs and other like um. To be tong task ka yung LED nga uh, I forgot the term, but it's um. Uh, maybe I'll show you let later. No, na adin he sa kuang slides that kind of sensor or that kind of lead mata is na nag chat ako basta na oh yeah smart bracelet yeah so there are really a lot of wearable are you even familiar with the term wearable wearable so it means um pwede ni mo siya suotin no or even kana sa mga signal sa kanang example sa kalsada you can you can wear a vest and you put an Arduino to it and you can put like signal lights on it. So those are um, basic examples of, of wearable um, applications. Smart earphones. Um, wala man kayo uh, one controller sa smart ear earphones. Kaya normally na naman sila I see inside. Depende sa ilang designer. Okay, so not really. Arduino Fio is intended for wireless applications because in any ang dagway and it's already wireless. It already has Bluetooth and it's already had um, Wi-Fi in it. Okay, so see or Arduino Fio and it's much um mas mahal siya compared to the regular Arduino Uno. Okay, and yeah, so that's it. And there are still a lot of microcontrollers like Gizduino. Um, katong mga gipang reproduce sa China, lay lang ngalan, no? So, those are still um, types of Arduino, pero they are tagaan na silang lahing brand. The most important part of it is the Atmega or the Atmel, Atmega 3, uh, Atmel at Mega ng uh, IC, okay? So, let's proceed. Uh, Arduino Uno is generally referred to as an Arduino and perhaps the most common board. So first things first, there's generally a misconception that our Arduino board is a microcontroller. So the, the entire thing is not really. The Arduino board actually is a specially designed circuit board for programming and prototyping with Atmel microcontroller. So we, I think you have already have um, found in your Arduino Uno board where or which one is the Atmel microcontroller. So, kanisha, this can live alone, no? And you can cre recreate your own Arduino Uno board. That's why I told you there are really a lot of another, and other types of this kind of boards and they just name it with dif uh, differently. This do we know? Because the most important part inside this board is the Atmel microcontroller. Okay? So, at Mega 3 to 8P nga microcontroller inside. So, nasyaging, you know, that chapter is very boring. Okay? But, um, I'm sure with the high interest that you have in this subject, um, we can get through <laughs> this um, two hours discussion for this topic. Okay? So, the microcontroller has um at is at mega 3 to 8p and the operating voltage is how much 5 volts and the input can be 7 to 12 volts with an input voltage of 6 to 20 volts 
And the digital eye opens depends on the board uh, board type, but the regular has 14, so is that 0 to 13? Excuse me. And then analog input pins has 6. Okay, so... Uh, by the way, don't worry, I'm going to share this uh, PowerPoint to you. Okay, or it's already in PDF type. So the memory of at, uh, at Mega328 is like 32 KB. It is very um, low compared to high-end microcontrollers right now, like the Raspberry Pi. It has 8 gig RAM compared to Arduino, which has only 32 KB. That's why it's much more cheaper compared to Arduino, uh, to Raspi, which is almost 12,000. Ang kuan ha? Raspberry Pi 8 gig. But there's really a difference with the performance. Um, Arduino Uno cannot do image processing. Meanwhile, Raspberry Pi is very, very good with image processing and um, digital signal processing. Okay. So, it has um, sorry, excuse me. So, let's proceed with programming. It can be programmed with Arduino, Arduino IDE software. Okay, so it can be able to write and load and upload code. So I'm sure you have already seen this software or did you not? Nakatong mga wala ka last time. Or tanan na nakapractice good. So very good, no? I, I really admire your section and in your classic. Eh. Um, you have this interest and... It's really good that you can be able to cope up with the requirements in this subject. So, mayo kayo. Okay. So, later, manganta na lang tayo yung taha. <laughs> pakantaho na ako. Sige, sa mani akong pakantaho. B. Si Erika, ma'am. Sige, kamo na yun, ma'am. Sige, kamo na lang tanan. Kinsa itong mga gipang pangalan ninyo. Pagkuan mo kay isa-isa honta mo. Pag-boring na gani ka, ayo. <laughs> Pakantahon ta mo pusong bato. <laughs> oh, di ba? Pakantahon ta mo. Para dili tala ayon. Okay, so let's proceed. Sige, kinsa may una si Jason. Oh, kinsa man yung president? Sige, a president sa para manunod ang uban. Si kan si Hana May ba ang inyong president, no? So si yeah, Hana. Ang sige mo. Onya na lang. Onya na lang. Tawagon sana ko si Hana then. Ang next na vice president, sunod so, no, mm -hmm. ang kinsa pa mga officer para manunod pud ang mga classmate. Niya na pag ka na medyo boring na o ka na nanay mo reklamo nga ma'am pakantahon sa nato si Kuan ma'am. Sige, proceed na ta. Ah, kaning ako bitong screen kay makita ba ninyo ning akong naong dinhi? Kani kani kani. Gagkatabunan man good niya ang Kuan. Makita ninyo no? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Ma yes ma'am. Tago na siguro ni dinhi ba? Gagawa siya ba? Hmm, ano na lang. Okay. So, let's proceed. So, unsa may mga kinahangla ninyo? First is the Arduino Uno board. Then, the USB cable for loading program. And then the software. So, for now, tulora to. But I, I think na katry naman po sa ubang mga equipment. Uh, ubang mga sensors o mga ubang gamit. So, proceed. So, derita, what's in the board? Ato lang ni siyang i-zoom gamay ha.
Okay, so then hit that. So the board, the Arduino Uno board has um, digital pins, familiar na mo na, power pins and analog pins. So what is the difference between this an digital and analog pins? Anyone? Nga maka explain sa yang classmate kung siya kalahian aning analog and digital pins. Ang sa po purpose aning built-in nga LED o ang reset button. So where is that mega 328? Kani ang at mega 328. Then these are the ISP pins, power indicator LED, kana makabantay mo pag musiga gali na siya, pag saksak ni mo sa USB means power dagi mo hang <laughs> Sorry guys, katulog. <laughs> Mga pisa guro ko no. Mga pisa mo guys, kay murag Inani pita oras kay labi kay katulog. <laughs> okay, so power pins. Anyone who has an idea ang say difference sa digital o analog pins? May manawag tabi. Si Kent Barry Ginobatin. What's the difference between analog pins versus the digital pins? Hello, yes, Good hello. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, um, analog pin, ma'am, kay may use siya for reading sa kanang output. And then, ang kaning analog pin is used for reading also sa digital pin. Okay, marag sa'yo. Okay, but um, para klaro, Digital pins can be used as an input or output. You can get digital input, you can get digital outputs through digital pins. So, some examples sa mga digital inputs. Codes, ma'am. Digital digital mga digital nga mga sensors, okay? Switches, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, switches is yeah, is as a is as an example of a digital input. And what is a sample of a digital output? Kanang LED, this is just one or zero, one or zero, palong or on, palong or on. So those are types of digital digital input and outputs. Meanwhile, analog pins are used to get data from analog sensors or analog ng mga uh, materials or analog ng mga equipments or analog ng mga peripherals. So those are, uh, it, it also has, it can also be used for analog outputs. So basically, um, same or sila o um, gamit ni digital pins. Uh, but it's just that the difference is it accepts the analog pins, this part, and accept analog signals while digital pins only accept digital signals. Okay? So, klaro na na siya, no? Let's proceed. So, it has a reset button. Makita na niyo sa inyong Arduino ang reset button ba? And then, napo siya power LED indicator and voltage regulator. And the microcontroller is si Atmel. And it has power pins na siya 5 volts, 3.3 .3 volts, ground, and then input V in, which is in this part of the board. Okay. So let's set up the Arduino. I think you're already familiar. So you can check for the driver kung updated ba from the device manager. And then after that, you can um, um, install a software if wala pa, ay wala pa driver, so you can install that one. And 
in any ang problema sa uban no if you're going to use a different computer again from different from the one that you use tapos may ngon dito sa port nga walay number most likely ang imo ang unit is wala shy or ang imong computer is wala shy driver for Arduino so you have to install CH340 nga Arduino driver for you to be able to upload the code kay kinahanglan man siya okay Next is, you can go to tools. Ang lakon sa manisya, iyan ang i-check ang, mao manisya ang inyong gibuhat last time, di ba? Katong mga error, bitaw ninyo nga gina-ask ninyo sa ako. So, first is, you have to make sure nga na ay board. Mag-click ninyo na na ay board Arduino Uno. Then, make sure that you can also check for the serial port if na ay serial port. Ang imong unit, awang imong Arduino nga software. Next is, mo na siya itong example na blink, i-upload na ito. And then, this is the sample program inside it. Okay, so, for the connections, sinanin na siya. So, atong E, isa-isa ho ng program for the LED blinker. Okay, for the LED blinker, kung saan man ang program nga naa dito sa inyo example, I think pare-pareho naman na siya, no? It has void setup and it has void loop sa program. But first is you have to initialize the variable for the lead pin. Ano sa man ang lead pin? It is the it is the pin number or the variable that you use where you connect your lead. Kaya di ba ang atong imon is we're going to do a blink up. So for the lead blinker, you have to initialize first a value or a variable name for your lead. So you can use any kind of variable name. Pwede rin po sa gunsa, pwede rin yung kagalingon ng halan, right? But for this one, it's using lead pin. So INT is, ang sama ng INT? Wala yung mo raise ilang hands. Ang sama ng INT? Ang sama ng INT? Wala yung mag-raise silang hand. So, you are going to set um, an integer type of variable which is lead pin and then you equate that into 10 which is the pin number nga yung i-insert sa yung Arduino. And then, don't forget the semicolon. Next is void setup. Na i-parenthesis. Nga no, ganing, what's the ganing ang void setup gani? Parang sa ganina siya. Ako na ba ng giingon last time ha? Unsay unsay din ang void setup? Guys, di ba ako naman ang gimension last time kung saan ang void setup? So, if mo gawas sa exam, dili mo kan, sir. Hello? Ano yung nag-chat di ay? Function. So, ano saan ang function? For? Para sa ano saan ang function? Void setup. From its term, setup. Di ba? You're going to initialize your pins as input or outputs here in this part. Okay. So next is kung, like example, blink man. So you're going to use pin mode. Ano na man yung pin mode? Na ano na man yung void setup? Kung baga, it's like a, it's like a, kung example, maging mo kagbalay, Or example, maging mukhag tulay. Di ba naman d'yo kayo mga foundation, Ana? Di ba? Naman d'yo kayo mga um, kung unsay mo ang mga mga yeah, the term is foundation daily. But um, so, si pin mode, 
Ganon, ganon na aman na siya. Pin mode, it it exists there to really initialize all the dig, uh, all the pins. No, kung input ba na siya or output. And then you just put the parentheses, iput ni mo ang lead pin, which is the variable name, kama, unsa man ang output. Because you're going to use um, a digital pin or si lead and it's going to be an output. Meanwhile, kung gamiton po ni mo, example katong, katong button, it's going to be an input. Okay? Dili output imong gamiton. So, you really have to know or you have to make sure that you can identify the components. Kung unsa ba ni siya, pang input ba ni siya, pang output. So, that when you're going to initialize it in the program, dili ka magka-error. Okay? So, again, what is the purpose of the pin mode? Kani, gamay, kap, ka, ang capital lang na letter is ang capital M. So, nganong inana man na siya? Nganong naama na siya? Nag-exist man na siya? Si, kaning mga pin mode, kaning void setup. Why, why do they exist in this kind when you're doing programming? Or even si void loop. Nganong nag-exist naman yung mga, this kind of mga keywords or syntaxes inside the program? Sige ba, kinsa yung makapang, makatubag, Ana? Okay, so it means, um, um, it only means that why does, or they, they are actually called syntax, okay? So, kumbaga, in our, in our life, In our lives, pag anak pa lang nato, nag-exist na ning mga rules sa atong kinabuhi. <laughs> so kita, kamo, pila pa may dana niyo, mga bata pa man mo. So kung wala, sa panganak mo, nag-exist na ning mga rules. no? Kumbaga, those who are the foundation of programming, they actually created this kind of rules in doing programming wherein the, these are types of rules that already exist. So us users can only learn about how to do with these rules and then we can just follow them and, you know, just be familiarized with everything so that we can really create, still create our own outputs. Nuggets ninyo? Given a daan, ma'am. Yeah, so the only thing that you have to do with these syntaxes is really to be familiarized with them and be able to um to be resourceful on how to use them okay para mas less ang error ng imong gabuhaton but good thing for you is that you already have the manuals and magka error man gani mo but but siguro with the katong mga gipang mention ako la it's time the, in, the intentions kana na lang semicolons or nalimot ka input outputs or even with um the syntaxes yung dili kay ka na wrong spelling ina na mo na lang nagin do mga error ninyo which means you are so lucky enough that you are actually in this generation where you can just be able to utilize kumbaga the food is already there giluto na tanan and you're just about to eat it ina na na lang yung trabaho ninyo but sadly some of the students are really really um uh, lisod ka ayo difficult to deal with and maglist gusto pagid nila hungitan pagid sila <laughs> yeah so mo na siya ang kamaturan ah uh, yeah so from before i was sa una sa nagskwela ko although medyo gwapo na gitpud kay ang technology sa una but um wala pagid pa wala pagid ni year 2000 na developed si Arduino no and the the, prog the, the programming 2000 so um Kung naa na mga gani ito nga panahon 2006 mo na eskwela o goan college. So, naa na mga gali pero layo pa kayo sa Pilipinas. But when I graduated, I I was, um my th my undergraduate thesis is robotics. And I was using, si, um I was using the parallax type of robot which is actually sponsored by the, by the USED. And they were able to give me a chance to 
to work on the program they were uh they were able to to provide me the robot where i just have what i have to do is just really do a program you learn lang na ko ang program and create an application from that one but it's not arduino it's a different type of robot from parallax okay so si parallax is still a very good company for robotics and they're venturing to um um commercial type of robots and uh, entertainment types Okay, so let's proceed. Void setup. After sa void setup, normal na na siya. No? Na siya void setup, void loop. And then there is digital write. What is digital write? So digital write from its term write. No, it actually it actually writes the, <laughs> the signal inside your Arduino. So that's why digital write. So from the lead pin, high, and then you provide a delay of 1,000 where 1,000 is is actually in millisecond, which is equal to equivalent just a one second, and then, and then you write again the digital um digital write um low delay. Unsa may kalahian na? Unsa may unsa may pasabutan ng digital write high and then digital write low, which means you're going to write write or you're going to create um you're going to do something like you're going to write from your Arduino or you're going to send a signal from your Arduino to your um to your sensor or to your device or to your applic uh to your per 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 peripheral or to your kanik si LED. Okay. So not only nga si LED, but when you're going to 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 do a digital right, somehow you're going to embed or mag send kag signal sa imu ang output. Okay. So daghan kag magamit sa term na digital right dili lang para sa blink okay So don't 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 close your mind nga ah, pag digital right mag send ra gid ka og signal no no it um uh, the application in here is just to be able to write um or to send the signal to the to the led but somehow digital right can also be used for input and outputs okay So don't don't close your mind about on how to on how the digital right actually works Okay, so when you click, uh, you type na ni mo, you upload, uh, you compile and then upload and then, of course, nakabalo naman mo sa na. So ultimately, mo, mo blink na tong lead ni mo. <laughs> so any question with the program? Naglibog pa mo ani, wala na. wala na kay kuan naman mo kanang silent raman mo dali ra ma'am no kay as ay no kay sige, sige. Na, oo ma'am mag matter ba if na spacing ma'am kan ang kan may kulang nga space ma'am ba dili maglandayan ang program ma'am yes yes i told you it's important because it's in the rules okay mm -hmm. So example kaning void setup parenthesis nya dili nimo idiretso og unsa gani tawag ani bracket ba ni or Ah, uh, kan nagsayo sayaw, I forgot. Kalimot sa ngalan ani. Ah, uh, sa kuan man siya. Ay, brace, yeah, right. Si brace. Kung butangan ani mag space din ha. I think okay naman no, di man yata mag error. Or mag error siya. So or er kani. Eh, if you're going to I think kung semicolon tapos after mag space ka then semicolon, okay naman yata. Okay naman. Okay, so um because this this actually part of programming, no. So if you were not able to to learn these things in your uh, programming subject, so much better if in you na lang siyang review. Just a few rules on how to write on C plus plus, and 
Okay, so let's proceed. This is an example of a multi-led blink. So, unsa may kalahian ani sa katung isa kap blink? Anyone has an idea? Unsa yung kalahian? A multi, syempre, mas dagan siya gled. But, unsa yung kalahian sa program atong i-open, ha? It's inside the for loop. Okay. So, um, for a multi-led blink, actually, pwede rin maka maka-discard. Ibisan nun sa gusto ni mo. Pwede ni mo i-manual, isa-isaho ni mo. For, for, kung gusto ka, maglisod ka, di ka kabaluan yung for loop. Okay? But, kung mag-isa-isaho mag ni mo, medyo, medyo kuan siya, medyo kuti, medyo kapoy. <laughs> Yeah, dili siya unlimited kay lisod sad kayo pa ipa under mo siya uh, uh, unlimited dunya imong i-manual isa isaho ni mo nga ing ani isa isaho ni mo nga digital right isa isaho ni mo great nga muhay na pud siya mulo na pud muhay mulo muhay so ma mo na siyang gisulat or gihimo ning for loop wherein it's intended nga magbalik-balik na siya okay Balik-balik na siya. So, yung nga niya, ang iyang syntax sana, gamitan niyo for, close open parenthesis, then you're, you're going to write the conditions inside. So, int, where led, gi, uh, gi mo niya, no, nga, ang iyang variable name is led. Led is, um, has pin numbers 2 to 8. Okay, multi man siya. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 di ay, but less than 8. Diyan mo na siyang ibutang niya, less than 8. Dili equal to 8. Okay? From 2 to less than 8, which is 7. And then, when you say lead plus plus, that means it's incrementing. Okay? So, mo na siya inside your void setup. Actually, pwede na gaya po ni mo na siya isulat as in any inside the void setup. Pero isa-isa ho na natin mo siya. Isa-isa ho na natin mo siya o isulat diri from, di ba, kani, int led pin is equal to 10. Kung isa-isa ho na natin mo, mag-isa-isa na po kag-variable. Led pin 1, led pin 2, led pin 3, antod na na 7. And then, diri po, isa-isa ho na po natin mo siya, led pin 1, uh, output, lead pin 2, output, and isa, isa even in the void loop. So, this one is uh, will make your multi-blink, uh, multi-lead blink activity much faster. So, pag humani mo gimo sa 4 inside your vo uh, void setup, you also do a void loop. Or you're going to do a for loop inside your void loop. So, unsa may naana? 4, close open parenthesis, int, um, your integer or your variable, which is an integer, is equal to 2, semicolon. That means mag-range ang imong lead from 2 to less than 8, which is ang 7. And then, imo siyang i-digital right low. And then, proceed na po ka. Um, for loop, from 7 to, marag, nagbalik balik lang siya ba? From pin 2 to 7, and then, balik na po siya uh, from 7 to 2. Ano, Balik-balik na siya. Katubi itong gihimo ninyo nga bar graph. Kasi ganito naghihimo ng bar graph. Ang ano ba inyong program? Dili. Murag dili, ma'am. Light nito, ma'am. Hmm, so, i-practice ninyo ni. Gamito ninyo. Because this is what the, the meaning or they have the same application. So, nag-loop siya from 2 to 8, nag-increment, and after that, babalik na po siya. Ay, kuwan man ni ni siya, low man ni siya at first. Ne? Meaning, nag-high siya daan. Meaning, nakasiga siya daan, nipalong. Then, after that, ne, balik na po siya og siga. You can try. This one is um is actually interesting. And then, with a delay of 500, and after that, mag-low na po. So, it's like... um. Mura siya magdagandagan lang yap o nang iyaang lead. Okay? So, you can try to practice that one. Anyway, I'm going to share this ko ang yapon sa inyo. So, makita ang yapon na ninyo.
Okay, proceed. So, serial communication. Ano sa mga serial communication? <laughs> so, dili na siya serial nga serial nga kanang pang breakfast. Ha? Dili po ni siya kanang serial killer. <laughs> but what is serial communication? Basta ako na lang na ako, no? So, um... The word serial means one after the other. So, for example, ako lang example niya. A serial killer doesn't stop with one murder, <laughs> but stabs many people one after the other. So, mayroon siyang gitawag na serial killer. Kay, kuhan siya, baka nang continue siya. Ana. So, when you say serial data transfer, it's uh, it means that when we transfer data one bit at a time, one after the other. So, meaning, dili, dili siya, continuous siya ba? Ang imong pag-send sa data. That's why you call it a serial. So, when you say serial communication is used for communication between Arduino board and computer or other devices. Yan na siya. So, serial communication is based on binary system, 0 and 1. And then, it, um, the Arduino sends 1 zeros, 1 bit, 1 by 1. And then, these bits are sent in a form of highs or lows. Depende na dahil yun kung sa imong applications. One byte at a time. So, I hope that's clear for you. Okay? Klaro na na siya nung anong gitawag siya serial communication. Okay? So, ang ani, ang input ni mo pag magsulod ka og pag magsulod kag data through serial communication, ang ani ang iyang dagan, mo siya 101100. Pag mag-send pod ka og data pa dong sa imo ang computer, para sa kapasya gani 10. So, it, it's called serial. No? Serial communication. Okay? So, serial communication can be done through kani TXRX. So, kung makabantay mo, nga dili nag-send ang inyong Arduino og signal sa computer, i-check ninyo inyong R TX transmission kung ba si Guba na busted na ni siya din nga part. Okay? So, this is your serial monitor. So, if i-check ninyo sa inyong tools, na dito ang serial monitor. So, if example, you want to check a a um kanang sa humidity or temperature or soil moisture and you want to detect or you want to check the data inside the serial monitor imo tong i-open you add the serial dot print line katong pangutan na gipangutan na bitan ako during our lab no unsa ba nang serial dot print line class so if you were able to practice or if you were able to type serial dot print line in your program then when you open your serial monitor those data will actually appear in here Okay. Next. So yeah, this is an example of a serial communication where you're going to use serial that begin 9600. Nine, Nabantay ninyo ni na aning serial that begin 9600 in your void setup. No? And then, ang katong serial print line, ano eh, serial that print, basig naglibog mo. Unsa din, no? Abi na ko print in na siya. <laughs> Print LN na siya. Print line. Lahi, ang sa may kalahian sa serial dot print o serial print LN? Anyone? Balik ko na lang na to, be. Today. Okay. So, isa, -isa hon sa nato ni para dili mo maglibog. Okay. So, now that you have already tried or practiced or nabantay na nyo ning na serial that begin, mo na siyang purpose ana niya so that there is a serial communication between your Arduino to your computer. So, naani siya nag-exist sa may void setup. Okay? So, what is the difference between serial that print LN, print line, and serial that print? So, when you're going to print data, Ng ani na siya mo gawa wala day de ba so if you're going to to uh, uh if you're going to show data from your serial monitor kung dili ka magbutang og print ln og serial dot print lang magsunod sunod ra to siya hantod sa mapuno ang imo ang isa ka linya 
ah, ang data halag yun, mapuno na lang gito. Pero if you use serial.println, kada data nga iyang ma-receive, iyan ang i-print line by line. Okay, so much, mas practical kung serial.println imong gamiton. Okay. Okay. Pinanaha, basta kaya ako na nang discuss sa inyo. Have already been discussed. What is the purpose of the serial.println and serial.print? And you already know the difference, right? Or gusto mo english <laughs> Okay, so there's another function that we often use when you use serial monitor, which is serial.println. It's used to print data to the serial port as a human-readable text is often used Uh, to view analog sensor readings such as uh, humidity, temperature, where serial.print is essentially the same function that it prints next data in the same line, okay? Where the same, where serial.println function prints new data in the next line. So, the difference is that serial.print actually prints data in the same line, meanwhile, serial.println uh, prints data in the next line, okay? Next, interfacing servo motor with Arduino. Okay, so I hope you're already familiar with motors. Kay mga mechanical biya mo. Tama, tama ko dili. Yes, ma'am. Oh, so actually being in the mechanical is already a, a plus if you're going... Kung kahibalo pagid mo og electronics and even um robo, uh, programming um electronic devices cause dili naman ka maglisod og sabot sa mga mechanical nga parts such as a servo motor are you all familiar with what is a servo motor Kay ug di mo familiar og servo motor ako tong tawagan si circuit karon na ang sana may mga sudyante ni mo nga fortune na dili man ikabaluhon si servo motor mechanical man mo di ba Hello dili na lagi mo maningog Wala ni ka kuan ma'am Unsay wala mo ka kuan Wala mo idea on si servo motor Di ba mga mechanical man mo? Manufacturing, ma'am. O, oh, lagi manufacturing. Manufacturing. May, ang inyo ha, ba yung mechanical design fabrication ba yung inyo ang koan? Inyong major. Am I right or wrong? So, that, that's this oh, main... Kung gamay man ko itong magpipipit. Kung yeah. gamay ka na mga motor, ma'am. It's ma a motor. It's a servo Kung motor. Oh, but it, it's the one that you're you're using in your activities are just a small type of servo motor. But basically, if, if you're in the mechanical design fabrication, it I assume that you already know how servo motors work because this there there are actually um industry type of servo motors, industry type of DC motor. So, I, I assume that you have a good potential or a good knowledge regarding servo motors because you're in mechanical. Mechanical design fabrication. So, uh, maybe I'm just the one expecting or assuming that one. Anyway, I'm going to discuss to you what is a servo motor. Basically, it's a DC motor. How about a DC motor? Do you have an idea what is a, a DC motor? Yes, ma'am. Oh, ano man ang DC motor, be? Ano, ma'am? Ito na ang direct current ng motor. Okay. So, okay. So, what will be the difference with the servo motor and the DC motor? What should be the difference aside from their, aside from their, uh, Aside from their pangalan. So from the from the figure, if you can see, um, there is a motor, can be a DC motor or a DC geared motor. So a DC motor, uh, wherein there is a gearbox, you call it a DC geared motor. 
but if you call it a servo motor there is um there is a intelligent circuitry or a an in, um whatever type of circuit content inside your servo motor that can actually uh, that becomes actually the brain of your motor so do you want me to show you a um magtanaw na lang tadebe so that you can be kanang kuan ma oh ay ganin na lang proceed na lang ta okay basig be ah uh, servo motor magkuha ko figure para makita din yu asa dapit ang kanang asa dapit ang DC asa dapit ang nakapaservo and ani ah uh, sige uh, okay construction of a servo motor dili kay maklaro ang iya ang Intelligent circuitry. So, kadali lang ha. Itong i-open. Okay, kane. This one is better. This one is better. This can actually provide you a good understanding where um be, kung ako taning ipa, ma-zoom pa. Save image. Ito hmm. dako-dako ba para klaro? Or kani? Uh, yeah, this one is much better. Okay. Oh, kani. Impossible. This one is already clear. Claro na git kayo ni ha. So, with the existing DC motors, nga inyo ang na nakita or you have already experienced using DC mo but you have a subject in industrial control, right? So, you're already familiar with DC motors? Yes, ma'am. Sure mo o wala pagsaba na lang git mo just be honest kay basig nag-assume ra pud ko para maklaruhan po na ko lusod sad kaayo kung dili gid dai mo familiar on say how does DC motor works gyud sa man niya pag pag rotate sige na just be honest sige atong isa-isa ho na lang balik lang ta sa servo ha Okay, mura gilom raman kayo mo. Ani tag video ha, matanaw lang tag mga kana mga GIF lang siguro para dili ra kita na nakamalangan. Okay ha. I'll show you how a DC motor works. Okay, matanaw tag GIF para kana medyo oh, ing ani, at least this one is much more relevant kay maklaro raman day ni mo unsa. Gikan ni paspas raman kayo. Ma'am, among nakita na screen, ma'am, is kato pang sa PPT ni mama. Ala. My God. Mau di ay. Ganina rin ako sige ipakita og mga screen. So, ing ani ang itsura sa servo, ha? Ing ani ang itsura sa servo motor inside your servo motor? And inside your servo motor, there is a DC motor. Okay. But uh, since you mentioned, or wala man mo nag-mention, no, wala, you're unresponsive when I ask you about DC motor, I'm going to show you a, a simple uh, video, GIF, of how, uh, <laughs> how DC motor works, okay? So, can he... Okay. Ah, kanina lang. At least na video, di ba? So, I'll, I'll explain to you. Ako na siyang i-post and then I'll explain. Okay. So, this is the principle of a DC motor. Kajot lagi kayo nino para ma-refresh lagi mo. Para dili. Okay. Basin magun mo proceed ta diritsyo sa 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 ha kung i-share balik stop share share screen share sound it experience some force we can see that when the current conductor is placed in magnetic field it experience some force in particularly direction 
The very basic construction of a DC motor contains a current carrying armature, which is connected to the supply and through commutator segments and brushes. So, si DC motor na nasa duha ka magnet, no? Tama ba? Yes. Ana siya ar armature, okay. The armature is placed between north and south pole of a permanent or an electromagnet, an elementary model. One single turn of conductor is placed between two opposite poles. If we start to supply DC via commutator system, current will start to flow. So, mo na siyang gitawag siya nga DC motor kay DC nga supply ang yang gamit. Oh, connected siya sa armature. And then, if imo na na siyang i-connect, sa may may tabo. As we see, positive terminal of a battery is connected to left conductor. Because of electrons, mag-move man ang electrons from where? Asa man mag-start ang electrons mag-move from plus or negative? Positive, ma'am. Positive, ma'am. Conductor of a turn. And negative terminal is connected to right conductor of a turn. As we see in model, north pole of the magnet is placed near left side. And south pole is placed near right side of the turn. Current in left side flows inward. And current in right side flows outward. As we see, conductor is... Because of the law of attraction, mag-move ang imo ang mga electrons back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. ...is carrying current and they placed in magnetic field. Both of them experienced mechanical force acted on them. Because of the electrical force of electrical... Um, Components moving inside the armature, makakos na siya electromagnetic field inside sa kanang dering apart sa armature. Direction of mechanical force can be easily determined by applying Fleming's left hand. Okay, so klaro naman siguro ng DC motor, no? <laughs> Proceed na ta. Unsi kalahian sa DC motor sa servo motor? Ang simple kayo, ang servo motor na na siya is small microcontroller or specialized servo IC integrated circuit inside sa si ang um, device. Plus na siya position potentiometer. It means nga si, sir, si kaning uh, microcontroller o kaning gamay ng IC ni mo will actually control the movement of your gears. Actually, uh, when you say servo motor, pwede ni mo na siya ma-program into tag 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, yung sabay movement niya, turn left, turn right. Ang anak na siya ang servo motor. It's um it's a much more intelligent DC motor. Kaya si DC motor ramang good, kuyuk ramang good na siya, di ba? Depende sa imo ang polarity sa imo ang DC. Okay? Claro or dili? Claro, ma'am. Sige, mag-proceed na ta. Okay. So, it has a control pulse inside your intelligent circuitry. So, when you say servo motor, you can choose actually from 180 degrees, 360 degrees, depending ya po nun sa nga klase nga servo motor existing in the market. Okay. But sa katong mga ginagamit ninyo nga SG90, SG90 means uh, 90 degrees ang iya ang position from 0 to 90 ra iyang movement and you can actually um, try to program it uh, a different there's also a different kind of motor no katong gitawag nila nga step uh, step motor uh, but uh, si step motor you can actually program that from 1 degree to degree ano na ba pwede ni mo gid siya step by step ang iya ang movement but si servo motor is a uh, limited pwede siya 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees you know, 45 degrees 45 degrees na na. so um pwede ni mo siya inana ang iya ang um, gap while si uh, step motor is pwede siya one ang iyang movement is uh, 1 degree 1 degree 1 degree na na. pwede ni mo siya inana imo ang pag-program sa iya. Okay, si step motor. So, for now, sir, sa servo motor sa atas. So, let's proceed. So, yung ani ang iya ang nakabantay naman mo, nakatry naman mo SG90, no, ang microservo. So, naana siya ay ground, power, and then the control, which is in PWM. So, PWM is pulse width modulation. It's a pulse width uh, modulated controlled 
um, device, which is, if you notice that sa imong Arduino, tanawag alin na imong Arduino uno, ang digital pin sana niya, kanang bitaw murag na ay, uh, murag, on second, tanang man ang inye bitaw, kanang murag nasa taas sa N. If makita na ni mo nga symbol, kanang murag nasa taas sa N bitaw for an inye, um, mauna siya ang isa kaklase nga pin, nga pwede siya PWM, where you can insert your um, servo motor. Sa so, akong i-opening sa Arduino, makita niyo Wala man din na ba? Wala day diari. Dili kayo siya na nakaklaro din. Eh. Mm, ah, kani. So, akong i-magnify ha. Wait. So, if you check that in your Arduino, pag makita bito ka ng murag na yung anang asimbol, kanang kanang murag ba nag-wave? Na, makita ninyo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh. So, okay. kana siya. That means that that is a PWM uh, pulse with modulated signal where you can insert your servo motor. Delete tanan digital pin pwede ni mo insertan sa sa servo motor. Basig matingala ka. Delete mo run. Magsige na lang kagreklamo, ma'am. Delete lagi siya mo run, ma'am. Oo, kagiingnan man ta ka. Nga insert ni mo na siya sa katunay PWM symbol nga digital pin. Okay? So, this is an example of a servo program. So, why do you have to include servo.h inside your program? Nga nung naman na siya, servo.h. Basig ang uban, nag-program-program sila sila yung servo, pero wala sila nag-wonder, kung saan man yung servo.h? What is servo.h? That is a header. You have to include, because that is actually like a sort of a library <coughs> for your program to run. Okay, so delete na actually ni mo need, you don't actually need to, you don't actually need to upload or to install the library, the servo library because it's already been uploaded inside in your Arduino Uno. Uh, I mean in the Arduino IDA software. But you still have to indicate that in your program which is kani, yan na, servo.h which is your header. And include that one because it's already the rule. <laughs> and then after that, you include servo.h, which is from the library. Library, And then servo, servo main, which is used to define the servo. Okay, no? So if inside your library is servo main, it's going to follow. Okay. So, and then now. So, void setup. Servo main that attach nang 9 din ha, meaning unsa nga digital pin nga number ni mo attach si PWM ni mo nga signal from the um, from the kaning servo. Okay, di ba tulong man to siya ka pins? Ang isa, power, ground. Ang isa, that is your digital pin number. Katong na ay PWM nga symbol. Katong na na ba? Then, that is for the void setup. And then inside your void loop, is ang imong buhaton is ang sama ni you turn you make your servo motor turn left to 45 degrees and then you wait one second and then balik na po siya zero and then after that mo uh, turn na po siya into 90 degrees and then balik na po siya ah, wala na siya di na siya mo balik ko zero after 90 balik siya ang um, padulong siya 135 and then delayed one second then 180 then balik na po siya 90 then end of code. So yung ana lang, you can actually try to experiment and make your daily bit of para sa gibuhat ninyo, gigipatigtuyo kra man siguro to ninyo siya ba inyong servo. So you can actually try and see para makita ninyo usa gi diperensya kung mo 30 bagit siya mo 45, mo 90, 180 na na. Okay? So maybe next next tomorrow if you're going to do an activity, you can try to um tweak, no? Osbo ninyo ginag my good just try to experiment and see if if nagwork ba ni siya okay so kung ang nasa inyong program is mag turn na siya og 90 to 0 90 to 0 then you can try to like try kung 30 lang sa then after 30 mo 45 after 2 seconds mo 90 so you can try to do that in your next activity So let's proceed with
interfacing LCD with Arduino. Okay. So, daghan kaayo sa inyo nga nagdala. Duhara day sila ka group. <laughs> Yung kung nagano, duhara day ito sila ka group. Nagdala sila LCD pero wala sila nag sulda. Kinsa kanito sila? Tas kamay. Actually, dili na ako makita guys. Kung naamay may nagpatasog kamot din ha. Kay... Ay, na silang wal, Christian walag, sila di ito. Ako ma'am, yamit, Richard. Okay, so nagdala sila o LCD, wala ni lagi, solder. Okay, so, um, nagisulda na ninyo? Nasulda na ba ninyo? Ginahinay ba ninyo yung sulda? Ang ginahinay ba ninyo yung sulda ang inyong kuwan? LCD? Nang walang pa may pang suldaon kay akong suldaon kay Piki. Dili gainit. Ah, dili na gainit. Naguba na. Baratuhon siguro. But it's okay. Okay. Sa so, katong mga walay um, LCD, pwede na po siguro mong hulam. No, to perform some activities using LCD. But for that, let's just first familiarize what is an LCD. So, an LCD display is is actually... O, oh, example, Hitachi HD44780 driver na siya LCD nga is compatible with a 16-pin LCD nga interface just like what you buy last time kung itong idala ninyo. Na pwede ka magamit og LCD Hitachi HD44780 nga driver. Then, it can also be interfaced using Arduino. So, this type of LCD is have a parallel interface meaning that the microcontroller has to manipulate several interface pins once at once control at uh, control the display meaning kan siya kanang parallel together ni mo siya <laughs> di ba sa kadaghan adto dungan gito kung naihisa dito nga dili yun mo naihisa dito nga guba or wala ninyo natarong og sulda dili gyud mandar ninyo yung LCD matingan na kagasiga pero walay mga sulat yeah, so that's 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 one of the problems with using LCD. So you have to perfect the soldering of that one. But if you can't, you can just buy another. Uh, if you can just you can just buy an LCD. Sa katong wala pa kapalit, kung mupalit talang mo LCD nga four pins, kaya ng automatic na bitaw siya iconnect na lang. Aron dili na mo maglisod. So what are those? 16 pin interface inside your LCD ka tong daghan kay nga soldado nun. So there is the register select or the RS pin. Unsa man siya? This pin actually controls where in the LCD's memory you're writing data to. Okay, so that's the register, okay? Where you're going to write the data, okay? The red uh, the read write or RW pin is where you use to select between reading mode or writing mode. Okay? And then enable pin, it enables writing to the register. Na lagi kay register per delay man po ni manable ang pag write. So there there is an enable pin. Kung dili ka rin ni mo ni siya mako ng enable pin, di good na mo under mo ng LCD. <laughs> Magsigasiga na. Pero wala yung mga numbers sa sulat mo gawas anak. No? And then, 8 data pins from D0 to D7. Katong mga content ni mo. Then, hindi mo na ipang butang. These are actually bits from high or low. Kung mag-high ka, kung gusto ka mag -himo. Example, D0 to D7 man na siya. Kung mag ka og number 0, uh, mag-form ka 0. Uh, example, letters. Mag-form ka letters. And then, um, wala kayo ni mo na insakto o connect. So, most likely, ang mahitabo is, dili ka ayo klaro ang pagkabasa. Nabantay, nakabantay mo, makita mo LCD nga, mura guba nga, dili, mataro mo na yung pagbasa because ang 8 data pins niya is not, not anymore connected. Okay? Not anymore connected na palong na siya. Okay, so then there's the display contrast pin, the V0, and then the power supplies. Yung sama ng contrast, syempre, pampa hayag, pampa contrast. And then there's the LED backlight. Muna siya ang pampasiga. Okay? 
So this is the ground, the VDD, which is the five volts, and the contrast, which is VE, and then the register select, and then uh, the read and write, enable pin, and then the Z, D0 to D8, uh, D7, and then the backlight cathode, and then the backlight anode. So mona siya ang content sa imong. If you can, you can actually try to use this in in Tinkercad para makapractice pud mo. Nagtry mo ani ba? And so this is the program for your LCD. So same lang gihapon ang pamaagi with the servo, you include you include the 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 drive uh the 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 library sorry you're going to include the library for liquid uh, liquid lcd which is liquid crystal h okay and then uh let's just proceed constant and so same ragya po no uh with the one kanilang siya is gumita ni mo siya constant nga integer Okay, so if you are going to print a hello world, a text, so um, you write lcd.print, then open parenthesis, um, quote, hello world, because you're going to type uh, text, diba? Okay, so that's it. Can let LCD uh, set cursor is para man siya to print the number of seconds. Um, okay, na, na. line one is a size. So, kung asa lang man siya, dapat ang location, no? That's from uh, zero one. So, mo na siya, nga diri siya nag-start. Okay. Next, so let's proceed interfacing LDR with Arduino. What is an LDR? Ikatong na nagamit na nagamit last time po, dukatong um photo resistor nagamit ba mo ana light uh, detecting resistor nay nagamit ana wala yes. oh na ma'am nagapoy nagapoy nagamit sa si LDR so usa may kalahian sa si LDR actually LDR is just an analog analog nga uh, um it's just an analog type of sensor so, i-connect yun na ni mo siya sa analog pin. Anywhere from A0 to A6. A5 day. So, that's, that's the only difference. Um, Imulanggiya po na siyang isulat as a variable. Magsulat yung variable niya, integer. And then, you just have to, sa may kalahian, is you just have to write analog read. Okay? Analog read means iyang basahon ang data nga gikan sa analog nga device. That's why you have to include analog read. O, nga nung naman na int LDR reading, that's a variable name. Although that's a catchment or that's a container for any data that you're going to read from the analog nga device. Okay? So, when you already have the container for reading the data, from your analog uh, devices, then you just have to use a serial dot print line, serial dot print ln, tapos close open parenthesis katung imo ang um uh, variable which is LDR reading. Claro dili, guys. Claro dili. Is na. Sure ba? Yes, yes. Na lang mo din na perpaspas na kay ko. Ay, ma ma'am. Hmm. Yes, Kanang kailangan pa din na i-type ng LDR, ma'am? Ah, kani? O kani? Oh, ay, kanang after sa analog read, ma'am ba? Kanang naip, naip and parenthesis tapos LDR. Serial dot print LN LDR reading. Kuan mang good yes, siya. Katong i-mention bito na ako nga serial monitor. Katong imong para... Just to make sure that the date nga na siya data nga nag-receive. So, imong i-open siya using serial monitor. Wala din ninyo nag-try? Katong serial monitor ba nga na sa tools? Okay, ang, I'll show. Ang naara sa katong sa... I'll show you alam. how serial okay. monitor works. Hmm. Sige, I'll show you how serial monitor works. 
I'll show you para makikita mo. Okay. For this step, we're going to for my mm. working day. Nagamit ka nini siya tinker ka na. Haba na siya program. This line is just going to land. Na siya. Ang serial monitor, ka nang mag serial print that ln so example katong inyong data nga gikan sa photo resistor or LDR pag mag-appear na to siya di ba kwaon man to ninyo nga data so gusto man to ninyo mabasa kung pila to siya mo na siya magamit kay serial monitor gamit kay serial dot print ln so magtan-aw ta sa katong Arduino gyud kani kani para maklaro gyud and the button behind load it D on LED code, which use times you that to the development environment and LDR serial monitor. Hello, students. LDR gets a camera. Mr. Lagia. Read. O, oh, nag-analog read siya. Program. So, atong tanawon asa da pitong serial monitor. Na na, dali. So, if you notice, makabantay mo sa iyang code, nag-analog read siya. So, int data is the variable name. Inig ka dawat niya. De, this data, this data, data na variable is actually the container whenever the the Arduino is being passed or the the analog uh, the the LDR or the photoresistor data has been sent to the Arduino kada madawat ni Arduino ang kaning or man analog read niya or mabasa niya ang LDR ang photoresistor si data nga variable ang madawat ana buro na siya aqua plus <laughs> yeah. yan ang, yan ang dawaton tanan na read gikan sa photoresistor and then iya nang iprint iprint na niya using serial.println tanawa na chada pagit kay niya ang pagkasulat kay iya gyud gam gamitan nag print ln and then naa siya light sensor nga term tanawa na light sensor then na i value which is equal to kung unsa tong data nga gigamit so every data nga madawat niya kay si data nga variable is like aqua plus container wala siya so kada madawat niya iya nang iprint sa serial monitor okay pangutana wala okay klaro na wala dili Pas-pas, balik ko na ko. Balik ko na ko. Balik ko na ko. Okay. So, sa katong naghimog activity nga nagamit og photoresistor, um, unsa may purpose yung mong analog read? Hello? Napamudiri? Hello? 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 Um, Ano siya may purpose mong analog read? Si analog read, from its term, the syntax read, iyang basahon ang kung unsa man tong mga data gikan kay photoresistor. And then, na siya variable nga data. Kanang ibutang diha nga int data is equal to analog read LDR pin. Si LDR pin, mao man to siya ang variable wherein iyang giset to, to read. Mao na siya bali ang channel. Si LDR pin, mao na siya ang channel nga wherein from analog zero, okay, from analog zero, uh, connected man si photoresistor to analog zero. So si LDR pin, mao na siya ang channel para masend padulong sa imo ang na microcontroller. So, pagkabasa niya from from this analog grid, iya na siyang i-catch i-catch na ni data. No, dapat daily data ang gigamit. Anyway, iya raman ang kuan. Iya raman ang... So, ang ngalan sa container is si data. Every time madawat ni data, ni container, ang katong mga 
values gikan sa kaning analog read nga channel, iyan ang i-print. I-print na niya sa serial monitor. So, yung ani ang dagway sa serial monitor. Akong ipakita giyon sa niya pag-open ang serial monitor, ha? Sige. Okay. Okay, nag-com na siya, no? Nag-com. Okay. Agar ap kis may likin niya, ha? Bawat sa... So, naa sa tools ang serial monitor. And then, after na nimo i-click, mag-awas dito ang mga value gikan sa imong photoresistor. Okay? So, klaro na gikan, nag-iisa-isa na ginako na ha. So, let's proceed with interfacing relay module with Arduino. What is a relay? Kani, I'm sure you're already familiar because in manufacturing, is the most important component in manufacturing. Kabalo ba mo, Ana? The most important component in manufacturing engineering technology is a relay. It's an electromechanical device. Nga naman. Be, kinsay makatubag. Because relays are electronic devices, the most important or very relevant electronic devices because it allows you to turn on and off a wide range of devices, both AC or DC. No? It's a simple electromechanical switch made up of electromagnet and it's an, and a set of contacts, but it normally functions as a normal switch. Okay? Except that you don't have to physically turn it on or off. So, on sa may basabot, Anna, and why did I mention yan? This is the most important part in manufacturing ang electromechanical relay. Nga naman. Because of automation. Okay. So, when you are in a manufacturing field and your plant or your factory has has no cap capacity or capability for automation, and uh, that's that's already you're already wasting a lot of your resources in your factory in your plant. Kung inana magani that you're not even familiar with what is an electromechanical relay. So example, nag trouble, no? Pinaka very basic is the troubleshooting. There's na, na problema sa imo ang nine. Ang kamot sa imong trabahante na hulog na tusok dito sa imong ano, imong makina. Without electromechanical relay, you are wasting your spatay imong trabahante. Okay? So that is how an electromechanical uh, how relevant electromechanical relay. It becomes an automatic switch. If you're going to to add a certain program sa imong bisag sa imong makina, whenever there are disturbances, automatic switch. Unsa may naggamit ana? Unsa gigamit nimo ana? The simple electromechanical relay where it automatically turns off any kind of device. So that's how important, but that's why I mentioned it's the most relevant, especially in terms of manufacturing. You can actually optimize a simple factory nga mga factory nga mga processes. Okay. So that's how important an electromechanical device is. Uh, what else? Unsa yung mga example ana? When you say optimization. Um, sa isa ka planta, di ba, or sa isa ka planta, when you're trying to, when you're trying to create a product, no, dili raman na siya taman sa paghimu sa mga butilya. Yung ta, ah, manghili, manglimpyo pa na sa butilya, magliluto pa na sa kwan sa, but, sa isulod sa butilya, iya pa nang initon, kung unsa na. So, there are actually a lot of processes inside just to create a simple product. Okay? But, 
if you don't know how to optimize, so for example, you only have to create a certain set of numbers of pet bottles in a in the factory or in, in a day, no, in a day. But since you don't <laughs> have an idea of what automation is, wala kay idea on saan electromechanical, really the very basic foundation of manufacturing, then nagsigi ra gidin tawon og daga nagsigi ra gidin tawon og daga nang iya ang ang isa ka makina niya para pagproduce sa pet bat sigi ra po siya dagan because you know it doesn't know what is automation dili siya dili siya familiar on how to really be able to oh, automate niya pagpalong nga pag wala na mahurot nang imong resources for that day di ba palong na siya automatically so that that that's how important kay if you have an automation inside your factory then makasave gyud ka og dako there's no waste of resources inside your manufacturing uh, plant okay so any question klaro ba klaro ma'am Okay. Okay, so what is an ito an electromechanical rig? Abi na kaya kung mga pagkuha, no? That it becomes a very good uh, interesting na kaya siya ka topic. Pag-explain na ako, nagabi kaya siya ka dakong factor. Pero are you even familiar of an electromechanical relay? Are you even familiar with a relay module? Okay, love a relay. Naka discuss, naka discuss na last time sa moang kwan mam. Percy. Dili po hindi tayong inana ha nga naka discuss ra. You should. It's the very basic of manufacturing. Sa karun lang ha. Sa una, siyempre, mga makina. But when you say automation, uh, mo na nasa karon na pinaka basic, ang electromechanical relay. Karon nasa control panel mam, mo lang relay mam sample mam. Yeah, no, so it makes uh, easier to automate stuff using an electromechanical relay. Actually, na pwy solid state relay, but since we're into um mechanical so magbalik kita sa electromechanical so a relay can be used in a lot of different ways especially for home automation projects so sa katong akong final project sa inyo ang inyo yung pinaka dapat mahibawan unsa how it works is the electromechanical relay so when you do home automation project uh, makabalo lang gani mo gamay bisag makabalo lang mo gamay how uh, a relay module work matik na na kay balo na ka automate na diretso lagi so for an electromechanical relay na na siya tulo ka kuan uh, tulo ka signals that's there's a common there's no normally closed and then the normally open okay <clears throat> So, kung sa man, maghimo na lang ta, matanaw tag video. Ha? Kanang GIF gihapon para dali ra kayo mo makafamiliar. Kung sige, how does, how does an electromechanical relay work? Para mas dali na to masabtan. Magtanaw tag mga nani. Okay? Anita diri ha? Kaya murag na pa man siya pinaka-basic pila man ka minutes. Ito ta sa ka ng kuan na. Dali ra kayo. Ang kanina lang no para mas mas dali animation naman eh. Madungog ba ninyo? Necessary to use was invent this one. And today relays are voltage current or signal. This which it produce magnetic field and a con So, sa electromechanical relay, balikan natin eh ha. Electric current flows through it. It produces magnetic field. It has an electromagnet. And a control circuit required to energize the electromagnet. Next is the armature or the moving part, 
विच इज द मेटल पार्ट दैट पुशेज द कॉन्टैक्ट टू मेक और ब्रेक द सर्किट अ स्प्रिंग इज ऑल्सो यूज इन अ रिले दिस इज द पार्ट दैट फोर्सेज द रिले बैक टू इट इज ओरिजिनल पोजिशन आफ्टर इच रिवोल्यूशन इन एडिशन अ सेट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल कॉन्टैक्ट इज नीडेड इन ऑर्डर टू ट्रांसफर द पावर वेन अ करंट इज अलाउड टू पास थ्रू अ कंट्रोल सर्किट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज प्रोड्यूज इन एन इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड पुल्स द आर्मेचर डाउन विच देन पुश सोन से नहीं तब वो यूसिंग सॉरी गेस मैम कर सॉरी स्विच ऑफ फेस मै बिगलांग डिस्टर्ब <laughs> And okay ra, okay ra mo. Wala ra mo na kuyawan. Ya bisig guro ni sila. Ya bi mura. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so any question? Wala pa? Naglibog na mo? Wala pa? Nagampo lang mo kung kano saan ako mahuman. <laughs> o gusto ninyo ipadayo na ito ni next na pod, next meeting. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hello, okay pa mo? Ma'am. Yes. Hindi na mo gusto magpadayin. Oh, ang saman. Okay raw, sige padayon ta ha sa electromechanical relay. So, pinaka basic explanation if this one is is it acts like a switch, pero how or when man siya nga magbaylo from normally closed to normally open di ba kabantay mo ani ing ani oh due to the electromagnet nga mga movement in this part ma trigger si armature nga mo di ba iya ani siyang i because of the electro uh, electromagnet movements here and there's a spring mapugos siya to 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 switch from tanawag ani pull the armature down Oh, This ma- balikon, ha? when a current is allowed to pass through a control circuit, magnetic oh. field is oh. produced in a. See, na force the armature to move, no, from this part to in here, causing this this part to transfer from normally closed to normally open. An electromagnet. This magnetic field pulls the armature down, which then push the movable. Co- Meaning, ana. Kung imo ni siyang i-supply og voltage as long as nag-supply ka din hi og voltage magpabili na siya nga normally open meaning there is a current nga move din ha nga part you can actually connect this to the AC nga supply and that acts as a switch para mo move ang imo ang current from here Meanwhile, kung imo ni siya o tanggalan o supply, wala electromagnet movements, pabalik na siya. Contact and connects it to the normally open contact of the relay and complete the circuit. When the current... Oh, see? Kung imo siya ang tanggalan o supply diri, wala electromagnetic movements, pabalik siya to normally close. Easy! Simple kayo! Diba? 
Charo lagi. Question. Nan ma'am nan. Ba? Say na kayo electromagnet electromag uh, electromechanical device. So meaning duha ka bug imong supply sa electromechanical device if you're going to do a home a home automation project. Meaning sa katong makakatubitaw mo complete sa circuit, you can connect an AC from that one. No, ba 230 volts. Okay? Pero dito sa isa katong makaproduce og electromagnetic nga movement is pwede dito siya 5 volts which is using this relay module. Yes, okay? Sige, okay, thumbs up B kung nakasabot o wala. Thumbs up kung nakasabot. Isa ra nakasabot, duha, tulo, 7, 9, 12, 13, 14, at least majority na ang nakasabot. Okay. Proceed na ta. Uh, with the program, since ing ani ha, ing ani man ang naitabo, we're going to connect. So example, one relay module, i-connect na to, to the Arduino. And then, ing ani ang iya ang connection. The NO, COM, and the NC. Anyway, uh, this will be clarified next time. Kung magpadala na kong material sa inyo ha. Ato lang ni siyang isa-isa hon. So, I don't think you can digest this one in this uh, sitting. Kaya daghan na magkitag topic. So, ato lang siguro ni siyang, di lang siguro na to ni siya humanon karon tanan. Basta kayo mo balik lang ta din hinga topic. Actually, this is almost done after the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, we can proceed with the PIR. Actually, na nagamit ang PIR, no? And then, some projects for... Um, Sige, ato na lang ni siyang humanon. Um, okay, gamay na lang, duha na lang makabok. So, what you're going to do is, next meeting, magpahimu ko sa inyo o Tinkercad nga activity. I, uh, I don't think it works in Tinkercad kaya wala man sila relay module. So, maybe, I uh, will ask you by October siguro to bring some materials para mag-practice taan ni o. Oh. Arduino, relay module. Pagpalit mo daan ng relay module B, mga wires, and then a 230 uh, volts AC appliance. Kabantay mo ng murag extension wire or kanang mga components para bitaw magpasiga ka o bulb. Ing ana imong mga paliton. No? Isa ka light bulb, isa ka katong um, holder sa bulb, and then naman to siya yung mga wire daan, di ba? Okay. And, uh, and that's it. And Arduino and some wires. And the relay module. So, I will show you an example maybe next meeting. Ay, tomorrow ba? Tomorrow atong next meeting. Sige. So, mag-prepare ko materials for that one. Then, the ultrasonic sensor. Unsa may mga components sa ultrasonic sensor? VCC, ground. What is what even is an ultrasonic sensor? So, it's actually just copying the principle of a bat. Unsa man ang bat? Kwaknit ba? Yep. So, um, how do they feed or how do they fight their enemies no especially they only they only move or they only work at night they only feed at night tas ngit ngit diba dili man daw kay na sila kakita so the principle they're using is actually the ultrasonic principle or they're using radio or sound waves no so um, how do they know if there's an obstacle while they're naglupad-lupad ng mga kwaknit? They only send out ultrasonic signal and ila nang i-receive. If madawat na nila in this certain angle, oh, na ay mga bato diri nga dagko, ma-perceive po na nila kung ang object nga nabalik sa ila is that uh, even an apple, prota, so that's how ang anak ka sensitive ang ilang ultrasonic, no? ang ultrasonic nga mga sensing sa mga bats so that is what this type of device is actually mimicking no so that is the goal actually in today's technology wherein 
all the natural nga mga occurrences can actually be replicate or duplicate or mimic by different devices and sensors. Nga na, oh na siya. So, uh, very easy to understand. VCC, na siya ground. VCC is actually the supply, then the ground, and then the trigger pin. Trigger pin is, kamo na siya ang mag-send out of data. Uh, sorry, send out of radio, uh, send out of ultrasonic waves. And then, si echo pin is actually the one that will receive. Okay? So, it trig, mag-send out siya og ultrasonic, and then, pagbalik na sa iya, mao na siya yung basahon. Kinsa na gamit og ultrasonic last activity? Oh, kamo. So maybe we can practice, maybe we can do that next meeting. I will show you how it works. Para sa tanan yun makapractice po. Makita nila how it works. Okay, please bring all your materials tomorrow. Okay? And then interfacing with PIR. Actually, na ako na kita na gamit ani no, may naglabad lang yung ilang ulong ano ng kal dugay kay siya dili siya ina nakasensitive. Okay, so these are passive infrared sensors. That's why you call it PIR. No, big they are inexpensive, low power sensors that are actually allow you to sense motions. Okay, and then. Uh, PIRs are basically made of a pyroelectric sensors which can actually detect levels of infrared radiation. And um, everything object emits some low level radiation and the hotter it is, the more radiation it is emitted. So, kung, uh, ang iyang basic principle ha is true uh, infrared radiation. Kung mag-tap ka sa sa table, itap na ni mo, it's actually producing uh, a low-level heat or they call it radiation, no? And kung wala siya kayong buhaton din ha, so there's no radiation and it's not uh, um, producing any or not emitting or the PIR will not detect any kind of radiation if wala siya movement. So that's how a PIR sensor actually works. So, naa siya ito look up pins, ground, output, and then uh, VCC. The output is actually uh, the motion detection. Okay. So, actually, someone was actually doing this activity. And the problema lang yun sa ila is, wala sila, or I don't know if familiar sila, that there is actually the sensitivity, sensitivity nga um, part sa PI hour. Pwede ito ni mo siya i- change. Pwede ito na mo siya ipatuyok. Depends kung unsa nga klase nga sensitivity imong gusto. Okay. So, these are actually some activities that I can actually, pwede na ako ni siya ipahulam sa inyo kung gusto mo maghimo o ginani nga final year and project. Okay. So, that's it. These are the reference for this uh, topic. And uh, thank you so much thank you ma'am okay so it's already 2.53 mo nang hilom na thank day. you ma'am so, nag thank you thank you naman lagi mong <laughs> nana may klase <laughs> okay so if you have questions feel free to ask so I hope you're already very ready for tomorrow and I'm sure that you can perform all your five activities tomorrow. And then, final year end project. Ato na nang sabutan. Final year end. Final project for this uh, subject. So, dali na lang kayo, no? Ato na lang i-familiarize ang relay, module, and then, that's it. Mag-quiz, uh, mag-quiz, dayon ta next meeting. Mag-quiz and then pohon, October, second week or third week, mag-exam kita. Okay? So, any more question? Nan, ma'am. Wala okay. na, ma'am. Wala na. Ay, o, sige, ma'am. Man. Hmm. Kanang, ug ma'am, ma'am, alas gis, uh, na-change naman ang hmm. oras, no? 7.30 ta, di ba, tomorrow? Then, Ah, 10, 10 to 1. 10.30 to 1.30. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, kaon na lang mo daan. Okay, parehas ani mga pas mo ani. Okay, so stop recording.